Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're flying over Cherry Island, where we are constructing our massive factories to produce all of the redstone components for the Hermitcraft server. And we have completed one absolutely massive step in the process of rebuilding Cherry, and that is our factory and warehouse. And we've assembled this over the last two episodes, and it has been so much fun to come up with the design and see you guys enjoying it has meant the world to me so i want to thank you so much for the support on these last two episodes and as we fly into module alpha you can see that there is a lot of uh <laughs> there's a lot of squatters here and it is incredibly dangerous so we're gonna have to clear out all the uh, cherry factory squatters before oh my gosh that's so many <laughs> we are definitely tempting fate in the device game by flying or even coming anywhere near my greatest unintentional mob farm ever created. But at some point, my friends, we're going to have to test fate, head on inside of Cherry Factory and defeat the mobs because we have a lot to do today in regards to the means of production here at Cherry. And that is how are we going to produce all of the different redstone components that we're going to need. So the first thing, of course, is we, oh man, you're, just, you're a sneaky one over here. <laughs> we need actual dust. So that is priority number one, is to produce redstone dust. Now I'm not gonna do a witch farm. I'm going to do villager trading. So we're gonna start with sweet berry bushes. And from sweet berry bushes, we are going to do emeralds. And that is another zombie train. That is not a train that I'd like to be on. I like to go on a train, but not that train. That is a smelly train and a lot of weird grunting sounds, which gets old after a while, I can tell you that. You don't want to sleep on that sleeper car all night. It's brr, brr. And the food isn't very good. It's all kind of, I don't know. It's kind of spoiled, if you if you will. <laughs> this is the worst, hold on. <gasps> Not the children. Not the children. The children are the worst. They need to, no, I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, Nelly. Okay, we're getting to the ocean, boys. <laughs> Full steam to the ocean. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Burn, burn, burn in a ring of fire. The zombies hit the dust. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the plan for Cherry, where we get our villagers, which we're gonna call prodigies, a little uh, parody on Apple's geniuses, which I think will be fun. And uh, yeah, we need to defeat those zombies, get on in there and start making them sweet berry bushes, which also, we need to find some foxes. Where am I gonna find foxes? That's a really good question. Hmm. Here's the current plan. We're gonna go and see if we can get foxes first because without foxes, there is no sweet berry farm. So we're gonna do that now and defeat the mobs a little later in the video. Um, I also really need to build a portal out here so it's a little bit faster travel from the 1.14 areas and the main island because I'm using a lot of rockets going back and forth. We also need to go and um, activate my portal back at Scarassic Island because Bob the Creeper Building Inspector blew it up a long time ago and I've been too lazy to fix it. So we need to do it today. Let's cross our fingers that I built a portal right this time. Would be the first, by the way, to actually make a functional portal that brought to you to where you want to go. And I don't have a good feeling about this. Yep, as I thought. <laughs> Why are we here and not in our own like portal somewhere in this direction? <sighs> Is this the modern district portal? Cub? Cub, help, please. This is definitely not scar safe at all, except there are bouncy slime blocks down there in case I fall. I will aim for the bouncy blocks, but this should be correct for fixing our portal because um, we really messed up some of the modern district portals and we'll have to fix those a little bit later, but hopefully this will work. So we'll jump through the portal. Please be Cherry Island, nailed it, yes. Ah, <sighs> okay, that's good. Now, I gotta go fix some broken portals. All three portals are now fixed. Let's double check to make sure they are completed. Perfect. Now, we can go get some foxes. Just arrived here at Hermitville and found free potions for members of Breath Over Death, and that looks like we can maybe take a golden apple for our adventures and a potion of regeneration. And what is this, fire resistance? I think we could probably use that. And uh, what is this, slow falling? Perfect, oh, this will be great for our adventure. To the land of the fox. Where do foxes live, right? Tundras? 
right? Yeah. Ooh, my mini game. I, I may have forgotten about that and all the haste to make the cherry factory. We will be back there, I promise. I completely forgot there were white arctic foxes in Minecraft now, and there is one over there. So it'd be fun to have a mixture of all the different color foxes. Look at them over there, he's so cute. Let's pull out our berries and let's see if we can get him to be our friend. Oh, we need to grab the, the leashes. Sweet. Oh no, he's gone, where'd you go? <laughs> Dang you, sweet berry bushes. Quiet now. We've got ourselves our little Arctic fox friend. So I think we can be friends with it if we give him some sweet berries. Look at that, see? See, now we're best friends. No, I guess we're not best friends now. Quiet now, we're gonna get him. Yes, we got him, ha <laughs> ha! Come here, little buddy. Seriously, foxes, you need to find a better place to take your naps. <laughs> because found ya, and then we'll give him that, beautiful, and put a leash on him. Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. Now that we got our foxes ready to roll here, can I just fly them back to the portal? Because that would be kind of a miser. So I'm gonna try that here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of scaffolding, okay. Let me see if I can get them into the air. Ha <laughs> ha, I can. Okay, this is Operation Fox Lift. Here we go. No, I lost them. No, dang it. <laughs> now they got away. That was a really bad idea of my part. I see you two behind that tree. <laughs> Our first two Cherry Computer employees are now procured. Let's bring them home by ground not by air. So I can scaffold with foxes. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> the little fella right there is like a pinata. Oh, that's fantastic. So can I, whoa, <laughs> look at him go. No, I lost them all. No, I lost them. I did. No, 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 there's their leashes. They were such beautiful foxes. I'll admit it. This has been one of the hardest things I've done in Minecraft, and I either killed or lost at least seven of them. So yeah, thankfully we've got two, and we're getting closer and closer to Cherry Island. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a guest out there. <laughs> what do I do with these guys? How do I get rid of that and keep these from running away? All right, we got rid of the guest, and we're almost to the portal. Oh, no, 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 another one spawned, no. Come on guys, go through the portal. Did I go all the way through the portal? Oh, we made it, we made it. Okay, guys, come on, come back to this car. The foxes are now safe in their new home. I've started to name them up, read them, of course. And yeah, like I said, that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Now that the foxes are taken care of, it's time to clear out the factory. But I have a question for you. For your bow and arrows, what do you prefer, mending or infinity? Now I've made this brand new Jelly's Revenge bow and arrow, but I don't have the final enchantment that either is mending or infinity. So I'm just curious what you guys prefer on your boats. And of course, in the comments, just write mending or infinity and the number one um, voted one will win and I'll put it on in the next episode. That's a lot of XP orbs. <laughs> the zombie train just continues to flow on out of that tunnel. Cherry factory is now completely clear of mobs and it is properly lit up. A bit spammy in the torch department, but it should suffice until this area is properly lit up with more of a design oriented lighting scheme. So yeah, I think it'll work for now. No more visits from Bob the Creeper building inspector. So where we need to start working on is the flooring and the ceiling. So wherever you see dark gray and then the junction between light gray, that is where we're going to do a ceiling and that'll help separate the lower level from the upper level. So then we can start stacking farms on each other and things along those lines. So we need to come up with what this area is going to look like inside and it'll have that industrial flair to it. So I think that'll look really nice. So I'm gonna start working on that, get this area a little bit more spruced up and continue to breed those annoying foxes. We got some huge progress inside the cherry factory and as we swoop through the door, you can see that we now have an interior in module alpha. Now this is a very bare bones design, just the floor, ceiling and walls and light and installed at the moment. Um, but once we get the farm built in, then we're gonna come through here and add a whole bunch more of our aesthetics that's more in line with the industrial kind of factory vibe. But I just wanted to get the area 
somewhat ready to go for that. Now, what we're going to do with this area is we're going to replicate what we do here on the other side. Now, I have started it over here, but unfortunately, I ran out of bone meal, so I can't make the ceiling and the floors. So we need to go to the shopping district and hopefully buy some. <laughs> I found three diamonds, so we'll see if we can pay for it with that. And I think Sahara, maybe Azuma shop has it. I'm not 100% sure. Also, we need to restock some of the Concorp shops that I didn't do in the last episode. Off to the shopping district here, and I really think it probably would be a good idea to seal this area in because it's, uh... A little bit dangerous down there, my friends. Maybe we should take fire potion every time we go in and out of here. All right, let's head to Zara real quick. We get the bone meal, if we have enough diamonds, that is. And then we check the hourglass, see how the progress is going. I'm at the crib. What? No. Oh, 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 it burns. How do you get out? No, I'm dead. Oh, what in the world? How? How? That, that, I can't breathe. Are you kidding me? It's been since August since I last died. No. Hermits, I don't feel so good. Where am I? Hello? I hear footsteps out there. I don't know where I'm at. It's very dark. It smells oddly of fresh cut pine wood. Oh, I'm in a chest. And what appears to be underground, and oh, I'm in a graveyard. And dead. I must be amongst my peers now. Dead I am in a graveyard, lost in a swamp biome. <laughs> I have never been here before. This is, uh, okay. This is my new existence. Oh, jeez. Hello, Mr. Creeper. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Help. I have found myself a very devilish lair, and I believe it is Grimdog's crypt. And we're gonna hide down here from the creepers. <laughs> so, we're dead. I don't know who killed me, honestly. I suspected two people. I suspect two people on the server. One, my number one suspect is Cubfan because he knew I was building portals and struggling with it. Also, the Grimdog himself. <laughs> the Grimdog was on the hunt, so it could be Grimdog. I don't know yet, so you'll have to let me know. And on a plus note, you can see that my shirt has been torn, revealing I have quite the six pack, and I never miss a Minecraft workout, right? I'm lifting stones, I'm lifting diamond blocks. It's quite an effort here, and I'm glad I never skipped leg day because I will be the muscle, <laughs> the muscle of the dead team. But anyway, <laughs> We have a lot of work to do today. So this is where I died, inside this giant tank under the shopping district portal. I was told by the culprit himself, Grimdog himself, Rendog, and all my stuff is down here, which I appreciate. That was a small gesture towards a now fellow teammate. <laughs> all I wanted was those three diamonds back. So now let's go get that boat meal. Perfect, so we're gonna get two stacks of that and one set of carrots, and that should be good. So that is all the diamonds that I have. I've got a question for you, my friends. Is it possible to die twice? Because I've been here at Sahara long enough for another death. No, just kidding. They've actually sped this up quite a bit. We bought two stacks of bone meal and one stack of food. There's my food, and nope, nope, that's mine, thank you. I'll wake that back, appreciate it. <laughs> and then there should be one more. Beautiful. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. I love that. Anyway, and then that should be three diamonds and the receipt. Don't give me attitude. I paid. Welcome back to Cherry Island. I impaled myself in Mumbo's tower here, and I've just been hanging out over here, looking out over the beautiful island and envisioning all the things that we will actually build here. Also, I really need to get a hold of Mumbo because I really want that tower, and I have some fun ideas for it. <laughs> it's a little bit sinister, honestly. But anyway, let's fly into our factory. And as you can see earlier, we finished Alpha Module. And now Bravo Module is now complete just down the way here. And this will be perfect for all of our farms. Um, there is a really scary place in here. And that's down here. Look at this place. Look at this. Look at this place. It is. Yep, it's terrible. And this was a terrible idea on my part by coming down here. <laughs> that right there is a camo creeper. The most vicious of all creepers. They hide in the bushes. 
and wait the pounce. Also, can we get a little prop in the comments for me? Because I dodged and I weaved the most dangerous area on the server. <laughs> <laughs> with two hearts to spare. But anyway, what I want to start working on now is the interior piece. Now that these two sections are done, like we can't leave this the way it is. So my idea is moving the portal from over there to right here. And I think that'll look absolutely fantastic. And then making walkways going up to the top levels on either end. And yeah, doing some fun cranes and elevators in here. I think will be absolutely fantastic. So <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That is a perfectly placed arrow. <laughs> so let's get this done. super fast but moan and I got a little carried away in the interior of the factory here and uh, that's just what happens when you get inspired and you just want to see what can be made possible and as I said I didn't anticipate building all of this today but let's go through the door here and do a bit of a tour so first thing I spruced up the door a little bit made it feel a little bit more detailed so I added little hooks in the ground for the diorite clamps and stuff along those lines but when we enter we can clearly see that I moved the portal inside and added some extra little detail around it like the piping that goes up and down up the ceilings added some little exhaust vents there but you might have noticed that there's these super cool little elevators that go to the second story and the lower area with doors that go into the Bravo module and the Alpha module on either side of the factory. Also, this little section here, if we decide to take the factory underground, maybe we could actually turn these things into real elevators somehow and like stand on here and then push, well, push the button, there we go. <laughs> and we would go underground. I think it could look absolutely fantastic and be super fun and practical going underground. And so, yeah, this was a lot of fun. And there's more piping on this side and then the staircases that take us to the upper level. Now, of course, this is where more of our farms are going to go eventually. And we have a ton of space up here. So let me know what you think would be cool to put in these areas of the factory, because we still have a ton of room outside of the areas that we do have planned things, you know, bamboo farm, sweet berry farm in there. And also, are you guys proud of me? Look at the lighting. Look at the lighting here. <laughs> it's all nicely tucked away. It is properly lit up. We're not gonna have to deal with any mobs and things like that. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself with that. Speaking of lighting, something I wanted to show you when the sun set here is the very mysterious and almost sinister look the Cherry Factory has at night. And you can see those red accented windows really pop at night and give almost a little bit of a evil vibe to the factory which was very unintentional and it kind of looks like the devil lives here honestly like it's got that vibe to it at night like in the day everything is just perfectly fine everyone's working happy things like that but by night things get a little bit spooky <laughs> but anyway it's one of my favorite effects is concrete and manipulating the lighting around it to try to create a fun and cool glowing effect and this turned out to be a bit evil. <laughs> but speaking of evil, let's head back to that graveyard real quick. I didn't know it, but the other dead team members have all made crypts of their very own. And where we took our safety was Grimdog's crypt, but also 
monster script over here for stress monster. So let's make our own and maybe we'll build it over here and make it kind of theme to us. So let me know what you envision my crypt to look like and we can build that in the next episode, which I think would be really, really fun. And maybe maybe we build it under this tree. That could also be really cool. But yeah, let me know what you envision my creepy crypt to look like. Back here at Cherry Factory, I want to share a little design lesson that I've learned and I like to implement into my own Minecraft builds. Now, I originally just now was going to build the giant cherry into the floor here, but I decided against it for the reasons I want to explain to you. And hopefully you can implement these into your own Minecraft builds to help improve them. So when you're looking at this space right here, it's very complicated. We have the elevators, we have the portal, we have the piping, things like that, but they all work together. And one of the main things that helps it all work together is the places for your eyes to rest and that is the floor and that is these big gray panels in the back now these are all there by design because there are places that need to be plain that need your eyes to kind of travel over as if they're resting before they get to their next destination of interest which could be you know the portal or these cool little elevators over here so when you come in here having the floor not detailed allows you to really take in and appreciate the other aspects of the design of the area. If this area was over detailed with big cherry and other lines and details and things like that, your eyes would be fighting to decide where it wants to look. Does it want to look to the floor? Does it want to look to the elevators? Maybe the portal. But this way, you come in here, your eyes aren't really looking for anything until it sees the portal. And then it's going to go to the left because of this orange piece. Think about it as the rule of thirds in photography or painting. And your eyes is going to go over here and it's going to see this cool elevator and then it's going to work up and this piping is like a bridge for your eyes to get over to this other elevator here and then back around and then you start looking at the other areas now if we turn you can see there are places over here where we can maybe even simplify it to enhance the other details in the area similar to the staircases they're very detailed with a lot of fine lines here but maybe we remove these pillars right here and have this light gray just be a prominent light gray. Or maybe we remove these ventilation shafts over there and that kind of simplifies that area. So these are all little things you can think about when you're building. And the last uh, design that I want to share with you is that this is a functional build. It is a factory. So you can get away with having things not be 100% perfect. Now, if this was purely for aesthetical reasons, we were building this thing, then maybe, you know, that we could get away with some stuff here or there. So that's kind of the fun of it is deciding like, OK, this is an office building and it's made to be beautiful, right? Then you can't get away with a lot of craziness. But this is a factory and we do have some more leeway and a little slack when it comes to that. So those are just some fun little things I wanted to leave you with. I hope some of those might influence or help you with your own Minecraft build. And with that, that wraps up today's video. We didn't get to the sweet berry farm because, well, Ren Duck killed me. <laughs> kind of set us off on a crazy trail, but what a fun episode. And I hope you enjoyed and the demise of good times with Scar. And we're here at the Hourglass seeing that we have actually made a decent amount of progress that brings up the level of diamonds just a little bit further. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch your videos. And if you believe the video is already writing, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become demised.